Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to create a classic retro disco ball from the heyday of disco fever. I provided two files that you could download. Their links are located in my video's description or project files below. One is this photo of a discotheque that we'll use to create our disco ball, and the other is a photo of the same discotheque, but cropped to 1920 by 1080 pixels. Its resolution is 150 pixels per inch. Open the smaller image. We'll convert it into a smart object so we can modify it non-destructively. To do this, click the icon at the upper right of the Layers panel, and click Convert to Smart Object. Go to Filter and Filter Gallery. Open the Texture folder and click Patchwork. Make the square size 2 and the relief 0. We're choosing Patchwork instead of Mosaic because the patchwork filter adds delineating lines, whereas the mosaic filter doesn't. Go to Filter, Distort, and Spherize. Make the amount 100%. Then click OK or press Enter or Return. Repeat the filter once more by pressing Ctrl or Command F. Then press Enter or Return. Open your elliptical marquee tool and go to a corner. Press and hold Shift as you drag a circular selection to the opposite corner. Click the layer mask icon to make a layer mask of the selection next to the disco ball. Convert the ball with all its filters into a smart object. To place the ball onto the background, Press V to open your Move tool and drag it onto the tab of the disco background. Without releasing your mouse or pen, press and hold Shift as you drag it down and release. Pressing Shift kept the ball centered over the background. Slide the ball up by pressing the up arrow on your keyboard until its position is approximately this high. Name the disco ball layer whatever you'd like. Make the background active and convert it into a smart object. We'll give the background the appearance of some motion by going to Filter, Blur, and Radial Blur. Make the amount 7, the Blur method Zoom, and the quality Best. Drag the center point straight up to a position approximating the center of your disco ball on the document. Doing this makes the background look as if its source of motion is emanating from the center of the disco ball. Make the ball active and double click an empty area of the layer to open its layer style window. Click Outer Glow. If the box isn't white, click it and pick white. The blend mode is Linear Dodge, and the opacity is 15%. The technique is softer, the spread is 0, and the size is 250 pixels. The range is 50%. Make a copy of it by pressing Ctrl or Command J, and double click Outer Glow to see it in the Layer Style window. Change its Blend Mode to Color Dodge and make its opacity 75%. Click Inner Glow. The color is white, the Blend Mode is Color Dodge, and the opacity is 40%. The source is Edge. The choke is 0, and the size is 30 pixels. The range is 1%. We want to make a new layer below the active layer. 
To do this, control click or command click the new layer icon. Name it Radial Lights. Open your custom shape tool and choose Pixels. If you're working on an earlier version of Photoshop, the pixel icon is here. Open your custom shapes thumbnails and click the small gear icon to open your list of custom shape presets. Click Symbols. When you see this message, click OK to replace your current thumbnails with the Symbols thumbnails. Since I already had the Symbols preset open, my thumbnails remain the same. Click this thumbnail, which is called Registration Target 2. Click the gear icon at the top and tick Define Proportions and check From Center. We want to give ourselves more room on our canvas, so zoom out of your document by pressing Control or Command and the minus key on your keyboard two or three times. Go to the center of the disco ball and drag out the shape until it covers your entire document. Then release. To fit it back onto your canvas, press Control or Command Zero. Convert it into a smart object and change its blend mode to overlay. Go to Filter, Blur, and Radial Blur. Make the amount 15, the Blur method Spin, and the quality Best. Make a copy of the layer and drag it to the top of the Layers panel. Double-click the Radial Blur of the copy to open the panel. Change the amount to 5 and reduce its opacity to 75%. Make a copy of the layer and click the Layer Mask icon to make a layer mask next to it. Control click or command click the disco ball to make a selection of its shape. Go to Select and Transform Selection. Go to a corner and when you see a diagonal double arrow, press and hold Alt or Option plus Shift as you drag it out approximately this much. Then press Enter or Return. Go to Select. Modify and Feather. Feather it 200 pixels. Fill the selection with black inside the layer mask by pressing Alt or Option plus Delete. This hides the radial lights of this layer inside the selection. Deselect it by pressing Ctrl or Command D. Next, we'll add lens flares. Make a new layer and fill it with black. Change its blend mode to screen and name it Lens Flare. Make a copy of it and temporarily hide the copy. Make the original layer active. Go to Filter Render and Lens Flare. Make the brightness 75% and the lens type Movie Prime. Drag the lens flare to a general location that approximates the location of where you'd like it placed on your document. Feel free to reposition it if you like. Make the lens flare copy visible and active. Go back to Filter, Render, and Lens Flare. Move the Lens Flare to a different location and again reposition it if you like. If you'd like to make another Lens Flare, copy it, fill it with black, 
and go back to Filter, Render, and Lens Flare. I'd like to make the radial blur that's emanating from the disco ball a little less intense. So, I'll make the top radial blur layer active and reduce its opacity. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.